Fine Gaming. I'm your host, Alice, and this is a brand new game for us, Control. This came out today on the Epic Game Store. It is an Epic exclusive for one year. Not very happy about that part, but um, I hope you guys are excited. I have a mighty need! I just saw what you posted, Kudlovitsky. Um, This is a very different game than we've played um, before on the stream. But definitely a type of game that I really enjoy. So we are going to be really excited about this. Um, ray tracing off? What? Why is it off? And it's locked. As far as DX12 and a graphics card with support for the DXR API. So apparently I don't have a good... Wow, a 1080 Ti doesn't have ray tracing ability? Interesting. Um, well means I need to upgrade my computer at some point in time. Probably sooner rather than later, but that's a story for another conversation. A story for another year or whatever. Um, I'm going to my channel real quick. I want to take a look. Seven, right. Um, yeah, two, ah, 2000 series card. Got it. Well, that makes me sad, but that's all right. All right, let's set up a new game. I've got my options may want to adjust before starting the game. Uh, we are in headphones. Um, this brightness to left line is not visible near, near it. for now. Subtitles is good. Start new game. There was another game that is like this, and I can't remember what it was, and I played it. Um, where it's action light RPG um, with... This is gonna be weirder oh. than usual. Right? Hey, son. Can't be helped. You called me. There's a video so here game. I am. It's third person but you rely less on guns and more on like psychic powers and stuff like that. I know I shut you out sometimes Guess I'm that. always glad to hear from you it's oh, just that God. I get my hopes up so many times it's led to nothing I found nothing uh was it's it? like, no. we like... live in a room, and there's a poster on the wall. Uh, very near future. Uh, we stare at it, and we think that's the whole world. Yeah. Yeah, I know exactly. The room. Can't think about it. Yeah, anyway. I know. I and the poster. Yep. It's not Mass Effect, it's... The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, oh, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful oh, no. or terrible, but we're all transfixed. Thank you. You should watch it's this. It's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. Yeah. They're lying It sounds really us. cool. We are lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. What? Yeah, he There's left. a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to figure no, out. No, not quantum what they break. Saw. I'm here. No, not the secret world. No. But yeah, Why the game setting is the same. So, yeah, but no. Like you could hold out a hand Hello? and suck things to you, and then shoot things out. Maybe it Anyone was here? some of the later. Yeah, I see it. But what is it? I can feel it it resonates the things you show me my friend i forget it's all in my head there's no you right 
Is she talking to me? Oh, that's cool. If she was talking to me, that'd be amazing. Where is everybody? I need someone to point me in the right direction. Items. Reminder, certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated, necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials. Authorized weapons, pagers, laptops, smartwatches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart. <laughs> Number two, pencils aren't allowed? What the fuck? Any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypical concept, e.g. rubber ducks, ketchup bottles. What? All material under Bureau investigation is to be brought in through private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. Might need to change the... Uh, adjust the difficulty of the mouse. Or not. Sensitivity of the mouse. Internal lockdown in effect. Building lockdown is in effect. Multiple containment breaches detected. Multiple building shifts detected. Head of research override. HRA protocol activated. Yeah, the door opening might right? The mouse sensitivity is a little high for me. Magnets, magnets, magnets bolts to the target applies when using. Is that cheating? That feels like it would be cheating. Better? That's gonna be my aim. This seal, I saw it a long time. Don't I work here? No player game, there is no ch Well, yeah, but... Your expenditures. Staffing surveillance, redacted. Data center initiative, construction, redacted, redacted. Office equipment, janitorial costs, redacted. Mold removal, HQ livability. House breakdown spreadsheet, page, see page five for five year. Wow, dark corners are dark, yo. Head of research, Dr. Casper. Our bureau at work. His face. Director is Zachariah Trench. Doors opening by themselves really freaks me the f out. Game seems jittery. No, it's a lot smoother on my end than it is on yours. I don't know why. Like, I can see it over in the corner being jittery. alerts that we're skipping frames. I don't know why it's being like this. Like, is it smooth right now? It seems to be when I... Yeah, right there it was... It was bad.
You're excited, Capri? Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. How do I duck? Ah, shit. Hang on. I can change that option. We're borderless anyway. That better looks better on my end hey shoe size 38 welcome how are you that better it seems it's looking better on my preview screen yeah, good we'll leave it like that then how do i duck Did it, was there a message on how to duck None of the standard keys. But maybe I can't duck. Maybe this isn't actually a door, it's a window. Okay, gotcha. I can't get in. Dude, pistachios, pretzels. And they might be in generic boxes or bags, but man, I could use some of those. Attention all... Okay. A shark in his, although secure, permission to, following basic protocol, shoot to kill. I see. Can't read those. As you all should know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting on them from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request rform.e from your supervisor. If you think you're exempt from filling it out uh, an R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under section 75.2 of the employee manual. If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims, then please contact the department, do department head, Dr. Darling, Ms. Marshall, Mr. Salvador, or Mr. Kirkwood. As needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Let's go talk to this dude. Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. What? Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they tell you are no element. Dirty work for the axe. Take them behind the sound when you out. What? 
I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But you can hear? Said, I know what you're thinking. She's not There's speaking out loud. He can around. hear her That's in her it. monologue. I see. That's not creepy as shit or anything. Um, change, like, remove the, the over the shoulder towards the middle. Doesn't look like it. You're wiggling happily. You know what happens next, don't you? What's this? What's in here? Oh, I've been in here. Oh, okay. This is back where I came from. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Who are you talking to? Is she talking to me? Oh, cool. That's the director, right? <laughs> Hell, I love movies that start like this. That advanced computer, though. you there for a moment no, I'm fine you know what's on my mind my baby brother Dylan can control years since the men of this bureau took him of the game are really dark. They're dark for me too, though. We need to lighten it up for the stream. Let me know. Jesse Faden arrives. Oh, so of course, of the FPC. Answers me. Of her childhood. French, I'm not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day for the rest of the week. I can't trust him, Barbara. Not a single one. French is the director, right? Shit. shit, shit, shit. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? No. No. I don't think we should do that. No. Something's uh. outside. I'm not picking up the weapon. Was. 
What are we saying was for? Oh, that was weird. Whoa! Oh, I have to pick up the murder weapon. No. Don't beep at me. There. Now I'm up here. What are you going to do? All right. He actually was shot here. No, I'm not picking up the gun. God, plus, don't want to pick up the gun. That's really cool looking. Results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. much anybody where's the gun be her the same gun max pain interesting okay now i have a gun Doesn't seem like headshots make any difference. Oh yeah, they do. What's that? Ah, okay, that makes sense.
No, uh, yeah, I did. It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? Um, right. You can't let this happen. 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 You stopped it. You... I dock. So this isn't Kerbal. No, it's not. It's pretty good though, huh? I'm not watching because honestly, I don't want to be spoiled because I actually want to play that game. This is right? I know it's not Kerbal, but it's this look really good. Um, from the trailers and whatnot that I've seen of it, yeah, it looks great. Aid is control. Toggle crouch grand slam C. Okay. Anyhow, oh, you have fun with that. All right, hun. Thank you. That's better. Uncollectible. His guard. Federal research on his interrupted uh, guard confidential. The Bureau has many internal security personnel. The Hiss was quick to take advantage of this fact. His guards use the standard issue bullpup rifles that carried prior to corruption, while the armored guards carry pump action shotguns. They have no observed pra uh, paranatural ability, and that certain his guards are protected by shielding of dense his residence, capable of stopping bullets. Is this shielding a result of prolonged his corruption? As the Hiss mature organic host over time, more data is needed. Did the Hiss target individuals with combat training? Does the Hiss have that level of cognizance? Does it utilize hosts for tasks they are better best suited to? Combat trained hosts are reserved for combat? They're all questions for later, though it is obvious that corrupted individuals retain knowledge on the use of their weapons. Refer to file blank for... procedure no unique procedures required description para utility the object's form is variable when bound the object allows para utilitarians to redacted this object may only be bound by individuals seeking the role of redacted the object will determine whether redacted if rejected the applicant is terminated this process is dictated by the redacted although their criteria is unknown background the object was discovered inside the oldest house in the room that is now used as the director's office 
By popu the popular hypothesis redacted. Many forms throughout history redacted. Yolner, Excalibur, uh, Varu, Nostra, all weapons that redacted of their wielders. If objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. If this is the case, redacted. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.1 .1 for more detail. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note, remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're, well, fired. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. now wait beeping at me since clearance level you do not have a clearance Guided to the building by the janitor, Adi, Jesse feels Zachariah Trench, finds Zachariah Trench, the director of the bureau, shot dead. She picks up the pistol next to the body and is translocated to the astral plane. The strange board um, encourages her to bind the gun, an object of power called the service weapon. It succeeds, and the board informs her that she is now the director. Group terminology reminds uh, regarding drafting any public facing material. While pending any notifications of death related to the Willow AWE, please adhere to the following guidelines. Words, phrases to use. In the service of his or her country, regret, proud, or pride will be remembered. Words, phrases to avoid. Alaska, scissors, blood or bleed, loss, or apologies or sorry. We've got guests coming over. Glad I found your channel, Owls. Well, thank you. Okay, well, I, I hope to see you soon, Shoe Size. Thank you very much. That was very nice of you to say. Oh, hey, take. Also, as you can see, gross in the game and is not ignoring you. No, 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 no. Locked down in effect, building locked down in effect. The research on the right.
Are they floating or have they been hanged? completely out of bullets it takes longer to to get him back get our, get our health up no they're not hanged they're just floating got a personal mod what are those mods Filter max occupancy six persons. Like only one person made it into this, into here. The subject matter reminds me of, um, have you guys ever seen, um, oh god, what is it? It's, it's like this fictitious organization that keeps track of all of these, um, fictitious, really crazy, um, Creatures or items that exist in our that supposedly exist in our world. SCP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It reminds me of SCP. My son is huge in SCP. Not my youngest, but uh, Sean. Hail Hydra. No, Hermes. No. No, Hail Hydra. Correspondence. Uh, Marshall, we've checked out the suspected AWE in Duluth. Wasn't anything. Just like the house fire before this, and the malfunctioning closed area before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. You need to find a better way to sort the fake AWEs from the real things, or you need to rotate the field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route to Sherman Ranch. Next one on the list. I hope it's a little livelier there. Special Agent Keenum. Love the SCP. Yeah. My daughter actually plays some SCP game. Um she found SCP containment I think it's called what did I just get actually that's an excellent question what did I just get I picked up something huh it doesn't let me do that all right ah! Oh, it recognized me, so it, okay. Right, guys, I like watch reading all the stuff, so. I hope that's okay. Uh, dinner reservations at 7 p.m. at Chez Ombre. Wife will meet you there, don't be late. Flowers are ready for you at lobby reception. She's turning 46. Wow. I need someone to do that. Seriously, I need someone to do that for me. Oh, I can't get in there. Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah. 
Interesting. Hello? Oh, I popped the... Let's go. Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. Whoa! One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. I'm the director now, did you see that? It's not sewing trench anymore. Wow, this is really, really freaking cool. I love these types of games. Executive meeting minutes. Respondent. Uh, agenda for the next executive meeting. Rising costs of AWE response. Update on the mold eradication efforts. Upcoming annual salary review. New supplier of coffee filters to be found and vetted. Please come prepared. Thank you for your time. Wait, wasn't there just a bathroom? Or is this that bathroom? Back the way I came. Yeah, there's bathrooms on either side. I'll go in the other bathroom. Legends are believed to be affected, uh, are believed to affect the creation of altered materials, uh, but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Jung's archetypes. We recognize certain redacted, informed by our own redacted and popularized by our media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can be artificially redacted in popular culture using redacted, our bureau-made anthology television program. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerbates the details. Certain paranatural phenomena occur, uh, contain clear elements of popularized folklore. AWEs that occur that only occur on redacted. A pair of scissors that consume human redacted through two punctures on the redacted. These details living in the minds of so many have been given strength to their, through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children. They are paranatural realities waiting to happen. <coughs> How 
how to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964. It's part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's If they do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How did you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they'll need to leave. If their answers seem redacted, escort them to a private room. There, perform the Gunnar psychological assessment. If the responses are within ex the accessible range of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet, then redact it immediately. Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. <coughs> What? Hire them? Kill them? Whoa, that seems bad. Protected. Oh well. <laughs> I like how we shoot. Ew. <laughs> it's pretty intense. <coughs> Shift. Sorry, I have an itch. Oh. Have to go back and get some of this stuff. Nope. But Kudelminski, doesn't this remind you of, uh... Doesn't this remind you of SCP a lot? We are back after reboot computer, apparently substances... Suggestion... Boy crashing... My drivers, I see. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss... Burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. I can't read this, even though I have some. Wait, what does that mean? Help me fix 
set. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. Okay. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Panting is poopy. <laughs> Hello? Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works? Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The oh. hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. You think? Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. <laughs> I can't even... Janitor let me in. Look, no. Jesse, I have a million questions and... You probably have a million more. Yeah, we kind of do, yeah. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? No, that's not one of my questions. Not, not yet. even Not even on my but list. There's something no. I need not to even in the top million. First. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Can, can I? Because if that's possible, our options are very different. I don't know. Shooting them in the face and seems to hope. work pretty well. I don't know her, but I like her already. I kind of like her, yeah, but She's we could really shoot her. Of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. Yeah. yeah. But I can't trust her yet. Nope. Don't like her. Or rather, but. the bureau she's a part of. That's right. Yes. That I'm director of. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? No. We did it before. Push the hiss out. Oh, they're wearing those things and that's what's protecting them from becoming part of the hiss. Oh god, cleanse the hiss corrupted agent. What hiss corrupted agent? Uh, the random chanting is really just, uh, I want to shoot something. What is corrupted agent? Am I, hello. 
Oh, I thought it was the coffee. I'm like, wait, what? Oh, I came back and a month. No KSB, and what is this? This is a game called Control. Um, brand new. We aren't doing KSB tonight. Um, doing this. Uh, the game just got released tonight. Uh, actually, 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, so I kind of wanted to play it and show it off to everybody. I hope you guys like it. Um, but it's weird. Um, that's the best I can say about it. By the way, is my head in the way? Is it, uh, like every time I play a new game, um, if my head is blocking something major on the screen, please let me know. Examination of paranormal topics. Technological limitations of the oldest house. Summary, the oldest house imposes certain limitations on our bureau, but by far the most restrictive is the inability to use certain technological instruments. The oldest house does not allow devices that receive or emit any uh, redacted signal. Radio waves are the only transmittable signals in the oldest house, and even those are often unreliable. If the power of collective unconscious is taken into account, it could be that certain pieces of technology are too, quote, new, unquote, in the cultural redacted for the oldest house to redacted them. Similarly, these items have not been known to become receptacles, have not been known to become receptacles for altered status. Technology may be moving at too fast a pace for the redacted to occur. Modern technology tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. Redacted agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the oldest house. It is not too big, thanks. It is a bit spooky. Um, yeah. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, listen, I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now. I worked my ass off in the Islamabad station for three years. I've earned the right to a nice workplace shitter. Can't bring it back. At least find out where it went. D. Rodriguez. That's actually relatively amusing. Oh, there's the dude. All right. Hang on. Let's see if we can cleanse this agent. Uh, that's not better. Oh, wait. Ripping it out rips them apart. Where'd she go? Jesse, over here. We need to make a plan, Jesse. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. So, I just entered this place for the first time, and now I'm the you director. Tell why I'm here. Oh. I'll risk it. Listen. 
The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary. Ah, 17. Her hometown is ordinary. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the got ghost or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. <clears throat> Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. All right, well, we have that's another Tomasi's place to go. That's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. All right. They call me the director. That's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. I don't yes, know. I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Also, I you pretty much know what we know now. <laughs> to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department? The hotline should be in the communications department. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The his escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the his to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. Son? You should really watch Twitch now. This is really freaking cool. So, let me put it this way. The first thing I said, this is like just like SCP if it was real. They're talking about altered world events, objects of power. There's a secret, um, there's a secret society, not society, but secret department called the Department of Control that's like in control of everything going on except something really bad just happened to them. 
I don't know exactly what happened, but it's like that, yeah. And what's funny is I just got here and now I'm the director of the place. Because one of the objects of power bound bonded to me. Yeah, it's really freaking cool. No, it's a it it's it's a um uh, it, it's a third person shooter basically with RPG elements to it. I, I freaking love these kind of games. It's think Mass Effect, Bioshock, Mass Effect, those type of games. I know not on street, but there hasn't been any good ones. Anyway, you, you should watch the this. Oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. You've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. What? Got it? What? what Did she what? memorize this? Got it. Thanks. Yeah. So HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one it seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Now, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Oh. Huh. Suspicious. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. All right, so we've done that. Oh, oh there's a thingy. I think he gives me stuff. Right? It's definitely SCP. I'm not the only person. Oh, I have a clearance level? You do not have a clearance level. Well, why can't I pick these up? Damn it. Slow down. All right. Build research on his identity. This corrupted agent confidential. Summary, the Hiss manifests in human hosts in numerous ways. The most common and least intense form is seen in the many corrupted agents floating throughout the Bureau. The Hiss agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The most notable distinction from an infected human is the fact that they levitate. That is pretty obvious. These Hiss have displayed no aggressive behavior. They only seem interested in vocalizing the strange incantation ad infinitum. Uh, perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the his corruption like spores or Wi-Fi boosters. Are 
Or are they cocoons preparing to enter the next stage of evolution? When attacked, his agents disappear. Perhaps entering a state of invisibility or undergoing a transformation into a purely resonant form. Research is ongoing. The only person you should fail is yourself. Oh, it changed. Oh no, the director. Oh, the photograph and then... Yeah, that makes no sense. You're the director. How do you not have clearance? Um, I don't know. I'm assuming the gun is, or no, the board is determining what I can and cannot do at this time. Let's check out our map. I need to go that way. Oh, that's nice and tells me. Look at that. Oh, shit. There it is again. Our welcome message. It does make it quieter. Done listening to you. Thank you. Uh oh. some who wants some you want some I'll give you some house memory costs ah uh, sorry visited the following Nevada accommodations desert Sun Inn big sky motel starlight motel in and out <laughs> uh, Aztec court sleep e bear sleepy bear motel silver silver Spurs ranch El Gato Blanco in a plus lodge expenditures Accommodation, $831.29. Meals, $714.84. Gasoline, $295.12. Mini bar, $313.61. I do wonder if a motel called, quote, Ocean View, unquote, is going to be found in a landlocked state. But hey, I guess I'm not paid to think, right? <coughs> um, and for the record, I again request that you give us the budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Rowley and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. See you on the road, Agent L. Hines. Uh, P.S. The boys in research said performing rituals may help identify any places of power. Drinking those little whiskeys is my ritual. Cute. What's this? Other than Trench, that's the first straight up dead dude I've seen. Undefined reading. Let's see if there's anything down here, loot. Shit. Yeah. 
Ah. Um, stable area notice. Please be aware. Due to recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, there's this area's stability has been decorated to yellow. Green stable, yellow, low possibility of unanticipated building shifts. Orange, high likelihood of unanticipated building shifts. Red, frequent unanticipated building shifts. This barrier. This residence field is a physical impediment that is difficult to define. His barriers appear in way as ways to impede escape or access by bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. One, destroy the multiple concentrated resident sources found in the vicinity. Two, destroy the his entities in the area. Resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other non-connected sources of his resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fall. Does an act inactive structure made of his resonance qualify as a conscious being? Does the distinction make any difference when considering the his? Why does the very act of building walls to prevent our pr movement tell us about the hiss? To what degree is it watching and planning? Refer to file blank for report. Uh, shooting the speakers only temporarily shuts them down. This seems bad. What the hell is that? mod energy boosts. Let's do. I'm not going to do that yet. I think that's when I can increase my psychic abilities or whatever. Yeah, you guys want to see something cool? You guys haven't seen this yet. Watch. That's my melee strike. Like, it wrecks stuff. to do. I'm kind of a badass. Poor lunch trace. Capri, leave me alone. I shot the trace because they were in the way. 
I saw he loves trays. Oh, hello. Just look at him. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on, and they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Ah! Uh. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched, I mean, <coughs> three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. Hang on a second. I gotta get up and get something to uh, a snack on. I'll be right back, guys. Oh man! <laughs> we even launched a cup. Ooh. What do you think so far, son? Yeah. It was great because I got locked in the room. No, no, I don't want to pick up the gun at all. I tried to leave. The worst one won't let you out. You won't pick up, you have to pick up the phone. Hey guys, sorry about that. I needed a be right back screen. You guys have, can look at something or whatever. What I want to do is actually get some of those old like drive-in. Um, let's all go. Let's all go to the lobby. Like get some of those, download them or whatever. Wouldn't that be cool? Hmm. 
intentions. We're on the right track. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. What the shit? Oh, that seems bad. Fucked up shit is happening in the mail room. Object of power. Something has splashed on it. We need to cleanse it. Floppy disk is shooting shit at people? How the fuck do I get up there? Stop it! Stop shooting shit at me! This is Wonderland just got home. Go, Chubby! Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, my. Yeah, it is the floppy disk. Stop it! Yeah, we cleansed the eight inch floppy disk. Give me down to gain a bunch of tokens. Just believe it. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. <laughs> Oh, I like this. Something like that, I guess, Kegel. Hey, how you doing? Maybe drop it. It just came out today called Control. Have you heard of um, anything called SCP before? I don't remember what it stands for, but. It's this supposedly like, you know, secret um, 
It's a supposedly secret thing that, um... There we go. Um, well, anyway, it's very reminiscent of, of SCP. Right? So yeah, it's really interesting. I'm in the astral plane right now. That's why things all look white and weird. Anyway, guys, um... Oh, shit. Stop mute them, director. I don't must do anything. You want me to, but that doesn't mean I must do it. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. Shit. I got it. Just like you wanted. Everything is a potential object now. Charge bar across the top for you. Oh no, it's uh, how much energy I have. Every time I do it, yeah. So I only had to do it so many times, it looks like. Good catch, smiling. <laughs> oh, 
launch efficiency. Interesting. Ah, launch energy cost minus 7%. Hey guys, give me just a minute. I need to say hello to Mrs. Wonderland. She just walked in, um, and I'll be right back.
One more minute, guys. I am so sorry. <coughs> hey, guys, we got medicine. Woohoo! I got a new game, and we're streaming it. And I wouldn't. <sighs> I just, I couldn't even imagine that. I don't know how much of that you guys heard, but... You guys ready again? Sorry about that. No kidding, he does. All right. Uh, oh, and we have a new collectible. What the heck was this? Kegel, none of it, just the wispy sounds of a fan blowing. Oh, you heard the fan. Sorry. So oh, sorry, guys. Is this fan actually like bothering the stream? I hope not. Mrs. Wonderland is a teacher, but it uh, it was it was a bad day. He's got a kid that um, is like screaming at people, picking up things and throwing, the, like picking up desks and throwing them, picking up chairs and throwing them, um, and uh, screaming and cursing and just throwing their fit whenever they don't get their way. Um, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, the OOP5KE floppy disk. Uh, containment procedure must be contained in a cell with no other loose material. It is just like SCP, isn't it, guys? Um, you can hear it clear as day. Shit. All right. There, it's off. There, it's on low. Maybe you can't hear it now. Uh, the object is an eight inch diskette containing Soviet area la nuclear launch codes. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to telekinetically lift material and throw it a short distance. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.15 for more information. 
The object is currently bound to redacted for research purposes. Background. Stolen from Soviet military base located and redacted by agents redacted and redacted with the, with the CIA. The diskette uh, contained launch codes to redacted missiles, believed to be reserved for use against redacted. After being returned to America, the diskette began throwing computational hardware at members of the decoding team. An informant in the CIA tipped the bureau off and, was, and it was requisitioned by agents the next day. By the way, what's funny is they call this an 8-inch disc. That actually looks the spitting image of a 5 and a quarter floppy, not an 8-inch. Um, I still hear something. Oh, that fan is the game. Hold on. Can you hear it still? Yeah, that's the game. That's not my fan. <laughs> oh, thank God. I was going to say, because my mic isn't opening, I'm like, what the fuck's going on? No! <laughs> no, it's not your bad, it's fine. No, you're doing exactly what you're supposed to do, um, is let me know, you know that. Alright. Alright. Alright, well, I think we're full health, so we don't need to go over here. said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. We were the Borg. We will add your technological and biological <laughs> distinctiveness to our own. Resistance is futile. This Ranger. <clears throat> Field research on his entity, his corrupted ranger, confidential. The rangers are the Bureau's well-trained and well-armed expeditionary forces. Their his corrupted counterparts are equally formidable. Prior to corruption, rangers were trained to use a variety of weapons in order to face any threat found during AW response or threshold exploration, including submachine guns, assault rifles, and automatic shotguns. His rangers utilize these weapons as well as the advanced tactics taught by Bureau instructors. Some are additionally outfitted with Bureau-made body armor. His rangers have no observed paranatural abilities beyond being uh, beyond some being protected by shielding of dense his resonance capable of stopping bullets. Considering the advanced training that his rangers are capable of applying to the situation, is it feasible to consider that human mind still remains intact to some degree, or is it his able to tap into this combat training and utilize it? Further information observation is required. Reinformation Campaign Summary of Willow AWE National news sites have begun publishing the story of the polar bear attack on the Alaskan town. You all know I don't like to boast, but claiming that the family was killed by migrating polar bears desperate for food because their ecosystem is being ruined by global warming was a stroke of genius. <laughs> Using current ecological concerns makes the public much less likely to redact it. So, another AWE behind us and the public is none the wiser. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. This doesn't mean we can stop monitoring blank, blank, and blank for any off-message opinions, but it's looking like we're in the clear. Come on, see you out. <laughs> That's great. Sorry, just eating. Hi, baby girl. Whoops, wrong button. So, um, for those that are just joining us, the uh, bullets in the gun, the gun is alive, and the bullets in the gun regenerate over time. Okay. 
It's level one. Yay! Oh god. Oh god. Oh, okay. oh my god. Oh, he was wearing one of the protection things. Alright, cl cleanse this room. Mine. Y'all shut the heck up. What? I cleansed the area. Oh, these are materials. Okay, they don't actually have anything. They're just raw materials to do things. Got it. Oh, no, 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 no. Not even hurting him. Oh, it's Tomasi. God damn it. Oh shit, hello. Did that hurt him? I don't think I'm hurting him. Ow, shit. Ah. Uh. Sad. Tomasi came up with a great, brilliant polar bear idea. Okay, why I can't I can't see what I'm aiming. Okay, this is terrible. How do I how did that change? Options, controls. Levitate, shoot, aim, melee, aid, oh, crouch. Can't figure out how to. See, my head is in the way of everything I'm aiming at. This.
shit. Ah, oh, I was just ducking. Oh, That's why I don't play these games normally, because I suck. Hello, kitty. I have a kitty in my lap, and she's very cute. And she wants food really badly. As soon as we kill Tomasi, we'll go ahead and get her some food. Not be distracted for the rest of them. For those new to the stream, uh, the Cool Eagle is a fellow streamer. Um, and uh, honestly, one of my favorite streamers. Really chill guy. He plays a lot of the same games I do. I can't skip this. They can fly now. Great. Oh no, don't belt my arm, cat. That should have been something I threw at Tomasi. him close to me. That seems bad. Aha! Dude's dead. Oh, well, like you do. I have a feeling he'll be back. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. I just needed to be more patient. I was trying to find better ways to kill him, but. Oh. 
So, uh, what do you guys think so far? Worth the, uh, worth the change out for Kerbal Space Program? Or not permanently, I just meant tonight. I, for one, am loving it. This is where he ran off to. Ute summary. It's elevated. This elevated agents display abilities similar to telekinetic competencies observed in Bureau of Para-Utilitarians. Some prefer to charge their targets, while others launch objects at them. Telekinetic attacks have been ineffective against his evaluated or elevated due to their own talent in that area. They do not use any weaponry except their own paranatural capabilities. Some his elevated have been seen levitating while strapped to chairs. This is likely a result of individuals being corrupted while undergoing cognitive recording in parapsychology. How are they able to use paranatural abilities? It is possible that these individuals were bound to objects power prior to corruption. It's also worth considering that the His residents can identify and express latent paranatural ability in the individual corrupts. Case files. Butte summary. The spate of disappearances was traced to a home, uh, home in the city of Butte, where Bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. Bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity located at redacted redacted which has been which had been connected to a total of redacted disappearances in the area agents found no one inside while searching a closet an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view <laughs> gone another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event he disappeared as well both agents were discovered at the oldest house uh, redacted days later found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house the light switch cord in the Butte's home closet disappeared during this incident Oh, bye, Kegel. Are you are you streaming tonight, hon? Uh, is this in the horror genre with the violence, sci-fi horror? Uh, sci thr sci-fi thriller, maybe suspense thriller. I don't think it's really horror. Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. Hello everyone, it was a strong campaign and perfect legs. The hiss got him. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds an alternate item to show up inside a U.S. Embassy? <laughs> Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? <laughs> I hear you up there. Can't be for now. Oh, he popped off before I could ask if he was streaming. Oh. Oh. It's ringing. Yes, I get the feeling this is the hotline chamber. 
supplement. Uh, according to their testimony, the agents have been transported from the Butte home to a roadside motel named the Ocean View Motel and Casino. That's why they were looking for the Mo Ocean View. And discovered a room key by performing a ritual. See file MOT01. Key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. After pulling another motel cord found inside the room, they were transported to the oldest house. The experiences of the home's owner and the other locals of Butte have been attributed to the light switch cord. The Ocean View Motel is now known to have many doors and, hallway and pathways. Adam. Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords have been uh, to the one found in the Butte home have become appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of this writing, redacted light cords have been found in the oldest house, located in the redacted and redacted sectors. These all access the Ocean View Motel, though how exactly this link operates is redacted. But initial hypotheses center on the Butte AWE as a redacted. Oh, yeah. On security log. Oh, director, 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 library, custodian. That seems suspicious. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Green Logic. Ah. The light switch cord. Got it. Whoops. Oh my god, all the way back here? I expect more people to show up here. And here, find the gap. Notice yeah. the law of three applies. Two, Whoa. three. Aha! Been here before? No. Hated a lot of roadside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like 
all of them, like something recognized from a dream. The inverted black triangle. This should be this one. one with the inverted black triangle. I don't have my powers here either. Law of three. God bless it. that say to attunement required agent must orient an anchor motel to their personal frequencies I have to do something in the hotel anchor myself here That door is opening and closing. See this? Only one door can be opened at a time. That's why I can't open this door. Oop. Theory. Oh, this door is open now. Aha! He has a black pyramid on it. Go! I did it!
Interesting. <laughs> Overboard long distance. Oh, got a complete challenge. Learn how to do it. Obviously, I didn't think it was hurting me at first. My game. Done or dial, contact us past selves. The hotline. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. me a director needs a team my management team these people know the secrets of the bureau as well as i do some even better darling tomasi salvador marshall marshall especially my head of operations she sees right through me oh she knows i don't like relying on people the only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. Back in his office. Oh. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. Files hotline. Payment procedure. Object should be inaccessible for use except to the director. Object is a 1960s era red Bakelite phone. The rotary dial has been replaced by a black knob of unknown purpose. The phone weighs um redacted. The object allows the director to communicate with the redacted. 
If the if used by anyone other than director, the object will cause lethal redacted. Um, the object is currently bound to director trench. Background. The object spontaneously manifested in the director's office placed on the desk. Director Northmore was the first known Briore agent to use it. Battery tests were run on the object, including redacted and redacted, but it's served in remaining. Ring, ring. It's Dr. Darling calling. In 1978, a comms department intern heard the hotline ring and picked it up, going against every safety protocol in the manual. She never recovered, and the handful of witnesses required extensive memory repression therapy. Oh, Jesus. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well, our very own Ouija board. Only the director can answer it safely, and what he hears is kept classified. Oh. Okay. Directorship. You are the director now. We expect independence. Our authority is the chosen one. Hero, the game needs you. A director needs a team, my management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do, some even better. They have proven themselves. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. So I followed my own orders. Northmore hated my guts for that. Oh, interesting. But things change when you become director. There's some new parts to this. You suddenly see this dark void from the horror show it truly is. Filled with screaming fear we pretend to control. Sand leaks through my fingers. The roses I pruned in the garden back when I still had a family. All dead. Wow. Heat escapes my body. My thoughts are scattered. The universe keeps expanding. And I can't keep up with it alone. When I forget that, things go wrong. And my team has to pick up the pieces. Damage control. To help me get out of my mess. Huh. It a long time to learn how to stabilize the control points, the ley lines, <laughs> the meridians of the oldest house. Darling found a way to soothe this beast. We discovered we must cleanse control points of all interference. It's my duty as the director, like Northmore before me. I couldn't manage it in my own house, at my home. I'll damn well do it here. Uh. Without the control points, the oldest house would swallow us alive. We'd be sealed inside an endless labyrinth. No one would hear our screams. Jesus. If the enemy ever managed to corrupt the control points, it'd be over fast, spreading like a cancer, leaping over the fire breaks like a crown of fire. They are the weak point. Darling's right about that. He's wrong about everything else. Dangerously wrong. Really? Suspiciously wrong. Really? Has he been compromised? Oh. Uh. All right, guys. Give me just a minute. I need to uh, hit the restroom. I'm uh, not to hit the restroom. I need to feed this cat. Sorry. I don't have to hit the restroom. What am I doing? I'm sitting here lying to you. I didn't mean to. Be right back, guys.
All right. Yeah, I've been suspecting Darling just because of some of the things that were said. Like when he handed out those devices to protect certain people without yeah. even saying anything. But I think it's too obvious. You know what I mean? <coughs> I can hear the hotline ringing in my dreams. Constantly ringing. I would suck. Ringing so loud I can't hear the voice I'm straining to understand. <coughs> Why don't I pick up? It's a secure line of communication with the board. They would tell me what I need to know. Do I fear their answers? Would they have warned me of this threat? I didn't see it coming. A traitor in our midst. Ah. Conspiracy plotted right behind me. I can't trust anyone. I must assume all my intel has been manipulated. The hotline is the only channel I can trust. Really? I control <coughs> it. The rule <coughs> with objects of power. It can't be tampered with. The lifeline to the astral plane and the board. I must seek guidance. Soon. I'll rest first. I'm so tired. Always tired now. But I must reach the hotline. Oh. I think I'm under attack. An attack of dementia. Exhaustion. Ah. Brain cloud making me forget. The hotline. I must reach the hotline. This is dark and spooky. The Ocean View Motel and Casino is a familiar friend to me. I stayed in countless motels like it while investigating AWEs across the country back in my field agent days. Those roadside motels all bleed together like a dream. Same and not the same. Anywhere and nowhere. The ocean view operates on dream logic, and the light switch cord leaks out to be found in the most unexpected places, uh. and sometimes successfully encouraged to appear and act as a convenient lock to keep out those not trained in dreamscape navigation. Even Bureau veterans can only find one key in the motel. The key that opens the door marked with the inverted black pyramid. The rest, the many other doors, are still mysteries to us. We're all merely guests there. Even the board. Uh, Sometimes uh, I need to visit hey, just to breathe not. easier for a while. It beats the numb, sterile apartment I spend my nights in, insulated from everything but myself. I guess that's where the whiskey comes in. Huh. Something's coming. The whisper's growing louder. The worst winter storm in Bureau history. Hmm. Retribution for my sins. Our sins. This threat could destroy the Bureau, everything I've built. Destroy me. A web spun, turning this place against me. I catch glimpses of it in the corner of my eye. It's just out of reach. Elusive. It's clever. A perverse game of hide and seek. Is this part of an attack? Obfuscating the facts. Dimming my eyes. It's hard to tell. Huh. I need answers. Me too, Trench. I haven't heard back from Darling. Huh? I fear for my friend, my closest ally. I Listen, think so. I made a terrible mistake all those years ago. Uh oh. That thing he studies is putting us all in danger. It's my duty as director to keep the Bureau safe. It'll be difficult. What's done can't be undone. There's no easy fix. Magical thinking is a requirement for survival. Pain and suffering are mandatory. To change things, you have to break yourself. I don't know if I have the strength. I'm old and weak. I'm afraid. I see my hands trembling. I'm losing control. 
Okay, well then, that's all. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. It's the extra person. He's not there. Oh, executive staff. I know there is some concern regarding operations exceeding the annual budget. As long as we operate within the oldest house, we are obscured from scrutiny in many respects. If our budget demands are not exorbitant to the point of drawing attention, then they will be granted by the U.S. Treasury without question. The FPC. It's just another line and another spreadsheet that some right. lowly accountant so, won't even notice. Their right. eyes will skip over us nice if we weren't even here. The nature of the oldest house allows us fr certain freedoms in how we operate. Our being here is no accident. Shall, Regards, Zachariah Trench, director of the Federal. It's level four, got it. Uh, control points are locations that the Bureau has identified as being vital junctions in the old house. When the appropriate harmonization devices are arranged around the control point in the redacted arrangement, uh, the surrounding area will not experience any unforeseen building shifts. These control points are discovered by redacted. Detection of an uh, unobstructed ping using the redacted within a 37-foot radius. Numerous researchers have attempted to define control points, calling them nerve juncture junctures or redacted or vulnerable spots of the oldest house. A common factor in these series is that control points are susceptible to external influence, which allows us to stabilize the oldest house and work more confidently inside it. Son! Theoretically, this technology can be extrapolated to stabilize the oldest house as a whole. The testing has found that certain parts of the building refuse to be redacted. says 38. I'm quite upset we didn't start a drinking game for each time you say redacted today. Oh, that's true. Although I think at this point some people would be dead. <laughs> what the hell's the room that she's in? Is it upstairs? I bet it's upstairs. Okay, I was trying to avoid looking at the room, but Jesus. All right, it's in the boardroom. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms, the hiss? I, sorry, you made it. I'm glad. Emily, let's talk. Uh, I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone 
Where's he? Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough. XCIA. <laughs> she took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. Hi, Kitty. If you agree, that is. Uh, we could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Huh. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. <clears throat> Hello? Hey, it's that janitor. He said I'd be working for him. Encounters with the entity known as the Hiss have revealed various behavioral facts. Most notably, the Hiss is able to invade or corrupt control points, altered items, and even humans, radically changing their behavior. Curiously, any person wearing one of the HRA devices that Dr. Darling has been distributing over the past weeks is not affected by this corruption. The only known exception to this fact is the new director, Jesse Faden, who possesses an inherent immunity to the Hiss. This could indicate that she has already been corrupted. But her behavior is so in contrast with that of the other hiss that I have dismissed the theory. My final observation comes from Ms. Faden herself. She is able to cleanse material and organi organisms of the hiss corruption. We tested this bit bit ability on a hiss corrupted entity, but unfortunately the process seems to kill the host. Perhaps the host's physiology becomes reliant on the hiss. More work to be done. We're away inside the maintenance sector. Internal lockdown and emergency security measure, stopping Jesse from looking for trenches missing management team in the other sectors. Jesse sets out to enter the maintenance sector Stop to find it. the directorial override and lift the internal lockdown. No, no, don't switch to that. Oh, are we on element? Oh, some of the. I've no, no, Hi, Jesse. Oh. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. 
Just let me know. Do you hear that? Someone's singing. Where's it coming from? What? What? Yeah, he's a purple thing. Bring me back anything good? Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Singing. Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. Hope has asked us to document the his incantation, as she calls it. You mean like in person? In person, with a pencil and paper. I think she's trying to get us killed. Launcher at me? I didn't throw one, but. a lot of them. Nice. Better projectile choke.
shelter. Have I been in this one? I don't think I have. Whoa! Banner <laughs> Summer. Projectile, projectile spread. Exclusive to shoot. Well, and a summary. An auditory event occurred at the United States Embassy in Havana, injuring the majority of dipl diplomatic staff stationed there. Uh, Redactus deaths were reported, and the outgoing information has been managed. Bureau agents arrived at the embassy on the same day as the event was reported through the federal channels, but were too late to witness the AWE, which was reported to have been redacted. Staff experienced sudden intense vibrations and noise, accompanied by an intense pressure in the ears. This lasted for redacted minutes. No visual phenomena was witnessed. The scene was cordoned off, and the embassy staff were transported to the continental United States. After Formula I-9 was recited in the vicinity, a single cowboy boot began to vibrate, identifying it as an altered item. The item was contained and brought to the Bureau for examination. A cowboy boot causes... Oh, do you think this is it? Causing all that noise? Run. Oh, wow. Guess not. I thought I could run in there and just get it, but nope. I really like this game. I wish it was longer. Or, I'm sorry, not that it was longer, that I could stay up longer. I didn't even know this game was under development, much less was released. It's crazy. Impressive. You're listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airwaves for more than 29 years. Thank you for staying up with us. Ghosts. We've had many callers over the years tell us about <clears> hauntings, <throat> voices, and other phantasmagorical phenomena. The division, Today, yeah. A friend of the show, Dr. Quincy Reagan, tells his story. Quincy, thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's Suspicion Con. <laughs> I was in room <laughs> The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that years back, the body of a man was discovered under the bed, inside that wooden border that motel beds tend to have. And the body had been there a week, he said. Guests oh. had stayed there, sleeping with the corpse of foot alone. They only found the body when housekeepers complained about the smell. Okay. Hauntings have been reported in room 47 ever since. Let's see. 
I happily took the room. I fell asleep pretty quick, checking under the bed first, of course. No ghosts visited me, no chilly spots or flickering lights, but when I woke up, I found myself under the bed. It was dark and stiflingly hot. Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind enough to find me another room. Oh, there you have it, listeners. What? what we call ghosts take many forms. What? Quincy was brave enough to tell his story, and I encourage you to keep calling and writing whenever you encounter something strange. Something you can't explain. What? Maybe you're seeing colors that we have no name for. Maybe your toaster is possessed. What? Remember, dear listeners, what no one else believes you. <laughs> Anyway, that was weird. Central executive, oh, central executive. Maddox. I don't know where the hell I am. I'm just wandering around like I own the place. This is all new. I haven't been down here before. Hail room. The mail room, right? Oh. Uh. Actually, hold on. Can't I use this to travel to Wait, abilities for what's this? Oh Let's see. I can add to health, I can add to energy, I can add to melee, or I can add to launch. Hellstorm. A weapon for slot. Sweet. Let's launch explosives. Launch grenades and rockets back at the enemy. Or 50% more launch damage. I only have one point key. Huh. Astral constructs. What the hell is this? Weapon form. Oh, struct shatter. No weapon forms. Oh, I guess I made shatter. I didn't mean to. I don't have enough material. Board countermeasure. Rival tactic. Strategic target hits guards. Stupid. Oh! Enemies without dying. Sure, I'll explain. Kill his guards. For minor threats. Kill enemies using melee. No. In grip, kill enemies with headshot. Sword. And kill enemies with service weapon in any mode. Those three, see what I don't know what I get for those. <clears throat> F to switch weapon. Interesting.
They say the new director can launch objects up to 20 feet. Obviously, you never read the P6 data. I was going to launch something at them, but I can't. <laughs> nope. Wrong way. Already been there. The hell is the stupid elevator? Oh, is that the elevator? Work. Meet me in the maintenance. In the maintenance. Uh, maintenance sector corridor. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. Hello. Got a Walkman. Like an old school Walkman. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It fell. Tell spread, but it's felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? Of course, clearance level two. I only have clearance level one. Tutorial override is right there in the control room. How do we get there? That looks bad. That looks really bad. Uh, three hours. I'm starting to get away. <sighs> Deus Ex. Wasn't Deus Ex like this game? Oh, it looked like it was working, but it wasn't. The directorial override is right there in the control room. How do we get there?
was a lot easier. Doesn't look like it's done though. Oh, can I control? Ah, control point. Never mind, I can't control it. The highest rated game outside of Half Life 2 I've ever played. Wow, shoe size. I actually never finished Deus Ex. Isn't that terrible? I, somebody bought it for me on the PlayStation. I never finished it. Switch to this, let's see how we do. Honestly, I not even sound great. And great. Which one? Oh, you've never played. Oh, I thought you said ever played. I did play Half Life too. God, it's been years. those things causing it. There's gotta be something I could do at some point to get through that without dying. I don't think the janitor's office is through there, do you? What's down that way? Oh. 
Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, Satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Hmm. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. Oh, good. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Yeah, yeah, you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you're made a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. Huh? I'm not going to tell you that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant, Berkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. Oh, good. You'll catch the end of the thread before I go to my vacation. The work's on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or seat's gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You this guy's a trip. Now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. What? The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. <laughs> he is such a trip. I love him. Yep. The trap. Oh, Jesus. Trash. Burn the trash around the furnace. How? Oh. Find a way to fix it. Yes. Throw it into fire. Burn it all. As throw the Burn it into a reindeer. Not into the moose. What? Of course. Nope, 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 Not doing it. Really? Die! Thank you. Jeez. Oh my god.
Ow! Holy cow. Can stop everybody on that one. Whoa. That Well, that was easy enough, right? Right? I think we have to burn this. Damn it. I need to do more damage somehow. Oh, wait. Just to see. Those things explode. I got I can't find anything that What burns? Club Lopez. Unless you. Review by Captain Lopez. These days, most young adult novels intertwine the coming-of-age story with either a contrived dystopian setting or a tragic romance, unless you manage to do both. In the story, the protagonist and her love interest search for a cure for a virus called The Fix, which is simultaneously killing her and spreading across the whole world. To find the cure, they go on expeditions into dangerous, uncharted territories. The people all live in walled cities now because it's supposed to be in future. And along the way, they ju they just have to fall in love. I liked how we never got to know if the fix was actually ever fixed. The ending was bold, especially for a young adult. The main character succumbs to the fix when she's so close to the cure, it commands her love interest to go on and save the world. She knows this is the end for her, but that the job can still get done. She dies out in the unknown, alone and surrounded by danger, but never loses sight of the goal. That's a good soldier's death. I give this book 3 out of 5. I feel most of the teenage angst is a little lost on me, but I'd recommend it to my brother's kids. Sweet. Nice. Got it. Huh. All right. Well. Here's to all the great fictional janitors. There you go. Okay, I gotta figure out how to, way to burn that one pl thing, and I don't know how to do it. Unless I have to come back and do it. I might have to come back and do it.
very cheap. Shit, what the hell's that? Ah! That might have scared me a little bit. God damn it, cleanse the merry go round horse. Ugh. This place makes me nauseous. Object of power. How do you think it got down here? A carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? Right? Control to evade. Dash, use it, and remove some pop. We're now bound friends for life. All right, good. Let's keep up with me now. I got an ability point. Yay! All right. Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Keep the lights on.
happy-go-round horse. Containment procedure. Objects should be kept in a confined space when unbound. Uh, fiberglass horse once used as a seat for a merry-go-round ride. The pole is still connected to the object. The object is capable of moving short distances at high speeds. This could be quite dangerous when redacted its path. The object is currently bound by redacted. Uh, background. The object was discovered at the site of an abandoned amusement park. Local redacted reported that the rides would move on their own and they would be chased out. When these rumors reached the Bureau, see American Overnight episode 235, uh, agents were dispatched to investigate. Three local redacted were found dead at the scene. The object attacked agent redacted by redacted. Agents invoked Formula C5 to redact it, the object long enough to redact it. Uh, escaped. Oh. Object power escaped the uh, Panopticon a few a couple of weeks ago, and they want everyone to keep an eye out for it. If anyone sees a merry-go-round horse zipping around the sector, alert me immediately. Do not try to contain it on your own. Definitely don't bite it to yourself. Your security chief, Simon Irish. Max Spectre, hello again. How are you doing? It's the game is great. Really enjoying it so far. Oh, Northmore, what's this? Yes. Northmore was director before me. I gathered that. I never wanted his job. I got that I never too. Wanted power. Got that. I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. Didn't want to rely on it. Really enjoying Northmore it so far, Max Spectre. Was all about power. Ah. A man like an explosion, hungry for authority, for order, for more, until it was too much. <laughs> I had to find a solution in the end. Uh-oh. Contain the situation. Northmore never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. Ah. He didn't really have a choice. <coughs> I suppose at the end of the day... A director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Here's to you, Northmore. Huh. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time, keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. <laughs> Oh, that check's not corrupted. Hey, hey, are you new? Go talk with Chief Arish in the security booth. He's in charge here. What? No, oh, I won't pass. Oh, there he is. Ma'am, hey! Chief Arish, FBC security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on. You're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's uh -huh. skip the formalities, please. Right. <laughs> Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but... Whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> eh. uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. The Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that huh. he was tearing his clothes off? What? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Yeah, he did. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. 
I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling them? Well, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Um, telekinesis alive. and, uh, and, uh, the, the dash. I can't do it in here. I was going to show you, but I can't do it. Here. Uh, correspondence. Security matters. Hey, Simon, I got your message. Yeah, if someone in the sector is talking, is asking about Adi, just tell him you'll handle it and leave it at that. Under no circumstances should any personnel intervene in his day-to-day -day routine. I told you everything I know about him so you could better deal with his odd habits, but yes, it's still very much a classified matter. Also, I saw your report about the quarry worker who wandered into the foundation. Detaining him was the right move. We'll figure out what he saw before we decide on next steps. Cheers, Lynn. Yes, in case you hadn't noticed, something is up between Trench and Darling. I know this isn't your strong suit, but try your best to stay out of it. Just wanted to make sure. You know if you unlock more powers? I'm sure you do. I, I know for a fact you do, actually. Because um, when you're leveling up your abilities, um, like I have stuff that's locked that I can't use yet. There were two things. So, dash I didn't have yet, so that's probably one of the two. Oops. Yeah, see? Ah. My control point, bitches! Interesting. So I have three abilities. Oh, that wasn't one of them. There's three things I haven't unlocked yet. So, um. Betting I can make my melee a lot better. Oh, Max Spectre, it's so good. I'm really enjoying it so far. Little Pons and Firmus. some huh you take it I heard you where are you Done being jackasses? Alright. And it's equal cool bumps. Go. Our plant cool pumps for cool pumps. Oh, lots of red shit. Alright. Power cut. Replace the parts. Power 
power cut, replace the parts. Well, bad guys. Guys, don't be in jack wagons, huh? on the elevator. Let's see energy converts. That seems important. Oh. We need to fix this thing ASAP. Healing, need some healing, need some healing. Give me the healing, give me the heals, all the heals. Thank you. All right, now let's try this again. This time with healing. Where'd he go? No, 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 no. I know you're here. I saw you. Hot tub time. Oh, enjoy the hot tub, Max Vector. Oh,
Pick up a body or throw one of the soldiers while they're still alive. I don't believe so, smiling. Good question, though. Now, isn't it odd that I can actually use an ability on that? Ah!
Electricity level's good. Look at my game reminder. Not dying. I haven't died yet. 20 out of 50. Uh, start. Random weapon. Go to central executive. Oh, go to central executive. Um, I mean, game reminder. Next game is Wednesday at 8. Usual spot. Hazard owes me $20. Arish still on a fucking winning streak. Someone please figure out how he's cheating. Thompson suspended for a game because of that shady dealing incident. Guy, I owe you $60. I brought beers last time, so it's Hep's, Hepston Stall's turn. It's your turn. It's charred. His charged agents are examples of extreme physical deformation resulting from corruption. His charge display an unthinking fixation on any non-corrupted individuals in the area. Once within a specific proximity, they erupt into a burst of focused his resonance, so dense that it acts as a physical force. The his charged is depleted of the his corruption after this eruption. Life, the host is left life lifeless. Uh, this behavior may be an adaptive response to the HRAs. The his charged are designed to blow the devices off potential hosts, exposing them to the resonance. Is the his capable of customizing corrupted hosts' altered ability to this degree? Why is the physiology of the his charge so dramatically different from the host's original form? Lots of questions, no answer. I guess we go up. Uh, sure, and a sea control room. Oh. I don't know if I want to do this. <clears throat> Oh, we're losing viewers left and right, guys. I don't think I'm supposed to be up here yet. Level five. Level five. I am not supposed to be here yet. Power plant, I guess. We'll go for go until midnight. <clears throat> cool. Let's see energy. Yeah. Oh, I've been in here. Yep, okay. We need to fix this thing ASAP. I got it. Quit yelling at me. Oh, whoops. Go to the cool pumps. open again.
lost that. Ah. Okay, it's one of these guys. Got it. right above me. No, 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 no. We don't go right above me. Ooh, that seems bad. Um, I need health. Got him. Thank <laughs> you. 
something of our first <laughs> So gross. Oh, shit. Ew, I just want to say. Ew. Are there any health things that I left? Yeah, there's some. A little bit at least. I got pump one and three working. I need to get two working. It's over here, of course. complaint. That gross blockage down in the water systems is back. What the fuck is it? And where does it keep coming from? And why the hell does Adi keep yelling nonsense at it? He acts like it can understand him. Of course he acts like we can understand him too. I guess that's just his brand of crazy. I'm gonna try out a new drain cleaner. Stream strength. Yes, it was feeding on the... Oh god! Out of here. Two. Interesting if I pull something to me and somebody's in between me and it, oh, hello, me and it, then, um,
the hell do you go? Oh. Is Trooper. Troopers are meant to be the first agents to enter unknown AWE's thresholds or any other paranaturally hazardous situation. They're heavily armored and heavily armed in preparation for the worst. As a result of the role, his troopers have access to the heaviest armor and weaponry in the Bureau's armory, including military grain chain guns and grenade launchers. In addition to their already formidable FBC-issued armor, the Hiss resonance surrounding these entities is dense enough to stop bullets. If forced to engage one of these, be sure to make use of any available cover. Also note that to the telekinetically talented enemy, grenades can be a welcome source of ammunition. Okay, well, that was... different? I don't know about you, but I am ready to go. Okay, well, I apparently found a way to die. Ow, that was my head. I wonder if that counts as a death and I'll have to start my kill everybody count over again. So that'd be so insane. I hope not. It might not, because when I fell down in the um, astral realm, it didn't count against me. Oh, we can. We're actually here. Find out right now. Um, astral constructs. Oh. Launch truck spin. Spin has a generous magazine. I already fired. Yep, I have to start over. Damn it. Well, no more dying. Um, what do I need to do? Oh, yeah. I do need travel, fast travel, but I'm going to the. Wait, no, that's where I'm at. No, this is where I'm at. Power plant. Um. At. Who are you talking to, Sean? Can't hear me. Sean, who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Okay. He's in the game, but you're not talking to her? 
Oh god, that's gonna wreck someone. Lord, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, well, they're acting like they're still under attack, but I don't see anybody. You gotta have infinite um, energy to run five ever. Ow! That wasn't very smart. Whoa! Okay. Blockages. Oh. 
pipe C through F. When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I oh. did. What do you know about the hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes <laughs> me think that the hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. <coughs> or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? <laughs> what do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador. The best security agent this bureau has ever seen. Hey. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest. These are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah, it's all part of the job. What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. I think it's director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor or something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. Huh. Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got <laughs> some crazy stories. And he probably knows more than anyone else around here. If you can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? <clears throat> I'm guessing Sweden. Uh, he's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? I should be going. Try to stay Price. alive. You got a lockdown to lift. Uh, dude. Dude. Put your arms down, dude. Wow. to go so I'm going to do this. Let's travel. Um Yeah, how do I get in there? Okay. Oh, shit! Invisible a second ago? I need you 
fuckers stop throwing rockets at me. No? What was that? But it even tells me where to do it. Maintenance NSC control room. God bless it. already in here. I cleaned everything. <coughs> Pardon me, sorry. But I heard noise. maintenance maybe Thresholds. Uh, the oldest house is a place of flux. Thresholds appear with no warning. Uh, what the threshold will contain is a question we can only answer once it manifests. Widely accepted theory is that thresholds are dimensions vibrating on a redacted frequency different from our own. When these frequencies match, the threshold will manifest in the oldest house, which acts as a redacted. Others theorize thresholds are parallel universes or possibly our own reality at a different point in time. 
Some believe our collection of altered materials affects the house or affects attracts the thresholds. We do know for certain that thresholds are not permanent. Eventually, their frequency will shift. Some believe Earth itself is just another threshold connected to the oldest house, which is actually rooted in some other reality. This theory, while possible to disprove, causes redacted in those who learn of it, so it is actively denied. Control. Listen, Trench is on the warpath about this Tennyson report thing. He wants to know who wrote it, and he wants to know yesterday. Whoever did it is going to get crucified. I don't know if it was one of you guys, and I don't want to know. I'm not super keen on leading a witch hunt, but tell everyone in the sector to keep their heads down. Best not to be on anyone's radar right now, you know? I tell you, not even counting all the weird shit we deal with, this place is uh, can be a downright hostile work environment sometimes. bad. to file a formal complaint regarding the unauthorized use of my voice in a state of quality I did not agree on. The fact that they were planning to use material from what I thought was a rehearsal was not communicated to me at all. Had it been, I would have disallowed the use of those recordings. I want the use I want use of the Ranger Field Training Course recorded messages to halt immediately. I will not stand for this humiliation among my peers. I will go to HR with this if necessary. Find Randall Pulaski. safe tests. Summary, the safe object of power can be uh, can produce a barrier using objects or material from its me immediate vicinity. See OOP 22 case file for more details. Your rangers were given permission to employ heavy weaponry against a para-utilitarian bound to this object in order to gauge the barrier's durability. Redacted and redacted velocity ammunition were tested with redacted results. Testing will continue after redacted. 
Safe object of power is clearly a viable candidate for use in combat response scenarios. Allowing para-utilitarians to participate in altered engagements would be an advantage worth considering. Okay, so I'm going to get a shield up here, it sounds like. Potentially. So, so I, I just read this. Welcome to the Ranger Field Training Course. The course must be completed in the specified amount of time. When you're ready to start, press the button. Is that all, or...? I always did love obstacle courses. Get ready, Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Go. seconds remaining. Try again. What? Get ready, Ranger. We're starting in five, four, three, two, one. Uh, go. seconds remaining. Stop it! Pick it, pick it up.
15 seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Force failed. That was right Get here! Ranger. Fuck you, awkward voice recording. Get ready, Ranger. Force starting in five. Ah! Uh. Three. Two. One. Go. Forty five seconds remaining. seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Failed. What do I have to do in that last room? Oh, I have to go out there. Oh. Get ready, Ranger. Force starting in five, four, Where's that? three, two, one. Really? Rosie? I did get it! Thank you very much, Rosie! Hey, how you doing? Welcome! Glad to have you here. How? Use shield. Where- what? Options?
Pretty good. Just got home from work not too long ago. Oh, good. Well, welcome home, and uh, thank you for spending it with your time with me. Very much appreciated. I love. I am loving this new game. I'm sorry I haven't been talking a whole lot. It's just that um, I've been so engrossed in the story, you know? Whee! We did it. All right. Oh. Okay, that's nice, but I need to kill these things. It is a very interesting game, yeah. Um, it reminds me a lot of, I don't know if you've heard of SCP before, but it reminds me of that in game form. We'll go for 30 more minutes. I'm loving the game. <laughs> Please don't make me do that stupid course again. God bless it. Come here. Um, Miss C energy Let's lift the internal lock down using the directional override. <sighs> Maintenance NSC control room. It's so creepy with all the chanting and stuff, you know. What am I supposed to do here? Maintenance. No training. Get ready, Ranger. Oh, come on. We're starting in five. Oh my god. Five seconds remaining. Wow. Course failed. Try again, Ranger. Okay, I really don't need to go through this again. We're not gonna do that. There's no reason to go defeat those guys over there. I don't know what they would drop, but I, I can't I already got what I needed from it, you know what I'm saying? Uh Blackrock processing, we don't need to do sector elevator and NSC power plant. Hello. Hey, okay, reload efficient. At least it's not creepy dark in here.
I don't know how to get. Next spot. How is this fun? It's a security, hello. I see through F. Oh, his arms are down. Ugh. I'm in the NSC control room. Director Faden. Ventilation. Have I been in here? Been up here? I think I've been up here. I hate being lost. Power plant. Hey, up. Oh. Mm. This is the way I can't go. This is where I got, yeah. That's where I got dodge, I think. Where I got boop, that. Where I just came from. Jesse reaches the maintenance sector where the internal lockdown can be lifted. She helps Chief of Security Ares to, to stabilize the overloading at a C power plant before performing the direct oil override and locking the sector elevator. Opens this thing. We do the energy converters. Central maintenance. Control room is right over here. It says. I'm right in it. Above or below me, baby? Oh, this isn't the control room. This is the power plant. I need to get out of the control room. All right, let's go to ventilation. Where's the, um, where's the security room? I could warp to the ventilation. I understand what I'm doing wrong. We're good, guys. Sorry about this. Uh, fast travel. Nope, nope, that was the wrong one, damn it. Wrong button. <sighs> Not ventilation. Fast travel. 
it's the any to converters entrance. No. No, it's up above. How do I get up there? I need to get back to central maintenance. It's just there. Control room up the stairs. Energy converters. Aha! Not aha. Oh, the chanting. I want to smack someone in the face. Vesicle. Really? Really, we're doing this again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't coming back from that, are you? Shit. Pardon my language, sorry. Pardon, sorry, I didn't mean to curse. Owie. Okay, well. Stop throwing random stuff at me, that'd be great. Alright, we're all healed now. NSC control room, woohoo! Wait, NSC control room. Ah. Energy level, water level. NSC control room. Nice, alright. Finally! Goodness for melee. Right, this is mine now, thank you. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Boom, baby! I'm so excited! Smoking man person. This is what we came here to do. <laughs> ah, like you do. Okay. Why do I get the feeling this just opens bad stuff up to everything? That's it. The other sector should be open now. I 
think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk I don't. it. You two should get to know each other. Oh, oh, that's my little... I won't said I've got a bad feeling about this, right? Yeah. There's nothing else? Huh, all right, well. Go to the sector elevator. Wait. There, uh... I could just warp to her. Let's see where the sector elevator takes me, though. Five abilities. We need to spend some abilities. I want to start being able to... Yeah, we need to be able to launch those back at people. What does this do? Um, launch basic enemies when their health is low. Oh, Smiler, are you still here? This is what you were wanting. Ah, uh, that's... We'll get this too. Woohoo! What's this do? Launch large enemies when their health is low. Nice! Yeah, I'm gonna max the shit out of this. Uh, oh, shield. Darn it. Uh, let's fast travel back to... So how was work today, Rosie? They're saying trench was shot. Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Yes, of course. I don't trust this lady. I think she's a traitor. Listen, Emily. <sighs> Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of Oh my of god, being? Rosie. It's terrible. It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. Oh. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Oh. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. Jesus. What happened to the slide projector? What? It sounds like another object of power. It was, but that's not important right now. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around oh. here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. And the case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Nope. Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her Polaris. Oh, that's cool. As in a guiding star. 
Did Polaris know about the hiss? If she got you in here in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help <laughs> explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, <laughs> referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. Okay. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. Yes. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Hey, clearance level three. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Uh oh. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. All right, fair enough. All right. Yay, we did things. All right, does she have more to talk to me about? Hi, Jesse. No, she. Wait. Yeah. I keep finding traces of Darling, but still can't find him. Where could he be? But he's usually in his office in research or one of his labs. Dr. Darling has quite a few all around the bureau. Could be hiding in any one of them. I check myself, but I don't have access to most of them. Sounds like I touched a nerve. He didn't let you into his labs? Not all of them, no. Some had volatile material. It's ridiculous. I mean, this whole place is volatile material. Could have at least thought of a more convincing lie. I mean, how can I work without access to all the data possible? I, because I think she's... I think she's involved somehow. This place has a bad habit of moving around, huh? So you notice the building shifts. Did you know that 39% of bureau accidents are caused by the shifts? It's true. <laughs> I ran the numbers myself. So they're dangerous. Oh, very. Yet one time, a shark got shifted into a meeting room along with over 2,000 gallons of water. <laughs> it was a tiger shark. <laughs> research project. And forget what he was researching. Oh my god. How do people work here? <laughs> no shit, right? You're just having a meeting. All of a sudden, a fucking shark just shows up. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not funny, but God bless it. That was funny. <laughs> assistant? Oh, it's just a title. I'm a scientist, a researcher. I work for Dr. Darling. See, when bureau agents go out in the field, the sites of altered world events, we study the materials, the altered items they bring back. It's always something we've never seen before. And studying them requires new instruments. New yeah, I needs to play this, Rosie. Entirely new fields of science. I think he would really I like it. really loves her job. See, there's no guidebook for what we do here. Everything that happens at the bureau, including the science, is without precedent. What exactly is the Ocean View Motel? Right, yeah. That's yeah. a bigger question than you might think. You see, I have extreme doubts that the motel is a single place. I mean, look at all the doors inside it. Where do they all go? But we know that one door leads to the oldest house, but how come we can only ever open that one door? Maybe to open a door, you have to have entered through it. So if every door leads to a different dimension, plane, reality, whatever you want to call it, then I believe that the motel is firm proof that parallel universes exist. Does Darling agree with that? I haven't told him yet. I'm waiting until I can prove it. Huh. What can you tell me about control points? They're nexus points of the oldest house's unique energies. 
Well, I wrote a 30-page proposal hypothesizing that we could siphon energy directly from them. Darling didn't even get through the first page before he turned it down. Oh. Right. And, uh, has anyone ever used them to teleport around? What? Uh, no. What? I mean, you mean physically? Uh, no, not that I've ever heard of. Oh. Why? No reason! Because that's how they work for me. Oh. What? Really? Oh my god. More tests. No, no more tests. Let's hold off on the Thank tests you. until later, okay? Okay. <laughs> it's just... Wow. I mean, this blows my control point theories right out of the water. I love it. I love it. That's awesome. I, I like her. I really hope that she isn't some sort of traitor. See you soon. Be careful out there. Maybe she's... Yeah, she doesn't know enough to be a traitor. Since I'm suspicious of everybody who's... Like, anybody who's, like, helping me overly much, you know? I heard the his attack at Palomar. It brings up a lot of... Oh, don't need to go that way. Oh, Sector L. Go. We'll play for a few more minutes. Uh, research sector, right? I do eventually want to go to the uh, maintenance sector again. I'll need some sort of flame weapon. I don't know what I can do about flame weapons. This video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So, this is where the magic happens. Anyway, I I've been here for 24 years now. I I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance, <laughs> and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance and, and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Okay. Research sector, huh? Home of the Bureau's mad scientists. I hear you. Ow! All right, all right, all right, right, right. God, I hate these guys. Again, sorry for cursing, but good lord, that scared the pee out of me. I'm better now. What? What? Oh, really? Hi. Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright, let's get healed. Alright. Sex stinks. This looks bad. She's in trouble. I need to reach her. Oh my god, I got all the way back here. What? Well, at least I don't have to deal with the dancing jack wagons again. They really sucked. <laughs> Oh, there's a shelter. Oh, I missed that earlier. Hey. This is a call summary. It's possible it, uh, a possible AWE in which an unnamed individual experienced transcorporeality via a phone line. The event is notably similar to AWE Redacted, in which Redacted. The event is believed to have been caused by Redacted, and as a result, the following measures have been taken to prevent Redacted, 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 Redacted. Very helpful. Home safe. A containment procedure. No unique uh, procedures required. Description para utility. The object uh, is a guardhouse brand home safe. Weight measurement may vary. When bound, the object allows peri-utilitarians to telekinetically gather items and debris from their surroundings. The object is currently bound by Redacted. Discovered in the basement of a home in Redacted, Ohio, the object gained rapid interest in certain online forums dedicated to operating uh, or opening abandoned safes. After months of failure, the owner attempted to open it with explosives. The object survived with no physical damage. Bureau agents were dispatched, now confident of its paranatural uh, nature. Blood occasionally emerges from seams around the object's door. Tests confirm the blood is not human. X-rays taken of the object indicate that something is trapped inside, though the images are always blurred, which indicates the uh, contents of the object are moving. All attempts to open the object have been unsuccessful. Oh, I have more hotline stuff. The hiss. The hiss spread is searching for transmission speakers. Corrupt chaos. The astral pain is a complex switchboard. The hiss will come for us all. You must stop or shut up them. 
Okay, thanks. A border weird. Is sniper? Hero sniper specialize in eliminating threats from a distance using the telltale searchlights to fix their rifles to search for targets. His snipers are no less lethal. The corruption that um, has not changed their tactics. They clearly prefer to maintain a good distance from the target, waiting in elevated positions for a clear shot. Care should be taken in open spaces. Check the balconies. I should note that their rifles are equipped with a bayonet for close quarters combat, and his snipers are well aware of how to use it. Oh, I was supposed to turn these in. Oh, good thing that didn't freak me out at all. Bien, thank you. All right, once more with feeling. Not done, not done, not done, not done, not done. I'm all proud of myself. Hope nobody needed anything in any of this stuff intact. Uh, what? No. Thing that just got. Uh, transcript of the call to the California State Emergency Services. 911, what's your emergency? H hello? Hello? I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you, ma'am. Where are you? I'm, um, inside the wires. I'm lost. Ma'am, have you been drinking tonight? I feel like I'm stretching through the wire towards you. Don't hang up. I, I might go if you hang up. Go where, ma'am? Go. Gone. Away. Okay, and can you describe your surroundings? Unknown noise. Ma'am? Hello, ma'am? Dispatcher attempted to call the number back, but it was no longer in service. Okay, really? Astral Exhibition. Similar to a what you see is not what you always get. Regardless, this place. 
place is vitally important to the Bureau. The most information on the astral plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that these are staggeringly complex systems. Stop it! Oh. The white, non-space, the ever-present, inverted black pyramid. The board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. Processes and best practices. Astral plane exhibition. The ex astral ex exhibition was originally built for astronauts to use as a training location. A place to grow accustomed to the sights and sounds of the astral plane before diving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but Redacted was being stingy with the budget. However, once we discovered the Redacted, we decided to repurpose the space. Similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect well-being of their animals, we hope to observe the Redacted's behavior in an environment similar to its home dimension. So far, it just breaks everything we put in it, in with it. But Rome wasn't built in a day. Refer to file 3-19-3811 for full report. Addendum. New naming conventions have been established for the astral entity now known as Astral Spike. Outdated items in this report have been redacted. What's new? Turn a lockdown? I think we did this one already. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility. The privilege. To steer the Bureau into dangerous waters and safely out again. To inspire and lead its people. To protect them. The board is there to advise you. But they want things in return. Okay. You hold all this in your old trembling hands I had to lose everything before I could see that Bureau is the director's life there's no room for anything else Creepy. if the forces contained here escaped <clears throat> we'd be dragged back into an age of superstition terror death assuming you think we ever really left that behind any emergency any major containment breach lockdown goes into effect okay I implemented this security measure in my first years as a director I knew we were vulnerable I'd personally seen the cost of sloppiness I made sure the internal lockdown could only be lifted by a directorial override only to be used when the director is confident the sectors are safe to be opened again whoops this way the director is the last line of defense. And if I screw up, it's on me. And me alone. Well, sir, you killed yourself, and uh, now it's not just on you. What the hell is that? Is that a creature in astral space? An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. 
We have a glimpsed movement, native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astronauts returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Uh, that sounds terrifying. Uh, yeah, that sounds horrific and terrifying and nasty. Oh, is that a map of the... Yep. Go away. Thank you. Shut up! Thank you. Alright, anyway. Oh, this way I came in. What? What did I miss? That. Alright, so... That seems terrible. Seems really pissed. What am I doing? Oh, this seems like a terrible idea. Oh, this seems like a horrifically bad idea. This way I came in. That upset it. What is happening? That is an astral creature. Um, and it's really pissed and it kills me, and I have no defense against it. Like, I can't hurt it. I can dash out of its way, and that's about it. Yeah. Rip Rooney, as my uh, nephew would say. Terrible idea. Is. 
shit! these buttons. That didn't do anything. Oh, I've got to lure it in here and then... Ah. I've got to get it back in its cage. I understand now. Hey! Sup? Yep, come and eat me. Oh, thank God. What was the Bureau doing with that thing? Kegel! Oh my gosh! Hey! Thank you very much for the raid! I'm so sorry I didn't notice you guys at first. Someone answer, damn it! We need backup down here! We were having some issues with an astral plane creature. Welcome, everybody. Marshall, are you still there? I was a little busy, yes, yes. Shit. Hey, everybody. Um, for those that don't know, the Cool Eagle, or Kegel as we call him, is a friend of this channel. Um... Oh, crap, that's not what I wanted. That was a rocket. Ah. Anyway, um, he's a friend of this channel, and what were you playing, uh, Kegel? Let me... Your shout out here, sir. Dark and light. Uh, oh, hey, my chatbot is apparently not working. Isn't that fun? Let me go and have a little chat with my chatbot. It's arc, but Chinese and janky. Oh, I see. I see. That good, huh? Okay, that was unnecessary. Oh my god, am I gonna have to. Oh my god, am I gonna have to get that thing back into its hole? Alright, no, thank god. Alright. Dark and light, aka. Kite everything to Kegel's house. <laughs> you guys are terrible, I love it. Um. No, she wanted me to answer, but apparently it's too late to answer. Um, this is a game called Control. Um, and has anybody ever heard of, like, the SCP files? It's very much like that in video game form. Um, and I'm really liking it so far. Stand back up. I saw you. Yep, yep. Oh, come on. Nope. Oh my god, they follow me. Okay, well, that's fun. Alright, fine. We'll do this. Yeah. Who else wants to throw shit at me? Oh, shit. He does. Alright, fair, fair. That's fair. I deserve that. I taunted you. Where are you? Oh, shit. Oh, come on. 
Drag all hostile shit. <laughs> Why are you guys doing that to him? Oh, so are there dinosaurs and stuff? Like Ark or? And what do you mean janky? Ah, okay, okay. So dragons, I'm assuming? You're gonna lurk? Alright, Rosie. That's fine. You guys actually caught me really late. I'm probably gonna be streaming for another half hour and then I'm gonna go to bed. My character looks like Luigi banged a goblin. <laughs> Jesus. That's an image. He's healing. You guys see that? He healed. Okay. I see you. Where'd he go? Hello. Come here, throw your rocket at me. Oh, I missed. There we go. Do it again. This is fun. Do some more. No problem, Kegel. You have a great night. I'm just saying. But we're gonna get it. Alright. We can do this! We can do it! You guys should have seen the nonsense it took to actually capture that thing. fun. Oh, 
Oh, did I kill it? Oof. That could have killed me. Where is it? There he is. Anything touches me, I die. I need to get some healing. Ah, oh, come on! Ah! Oh. I didn't get a chance to see what that uh, that special mission was. Oh, hello. Got him. Oh shit, hello, I see you. Full health again, finally.
that's enough of that nonsense. Show your face. Show your face! Of course. point not your guys Woo. Ah. Marshall can you hear me yes I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on. I'm sending the elevator for you. We need to talk. You got that right. Eh. Necessary. You guys shouldn't have been able to do that. Oh, you're a psychology. Owner. talk to Marshall and then save and probably go to bed. I'm getting really tired, but don't leave guys. We will hand you off to a raid. Probability. There you are. I was starting to worry. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. I'm Helen Marshall, head of your operations. Zachariah's dead then, and I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Makes sense. None of this phases her? Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone. Not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. 
Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. Rangers, let her through. We'll have to lock the door behind you. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach. They're all good luck charms. Yep, lucky horseshoe. I don't remember which way is supposed to be good luck. Oh, wait. Last anyone heard, he was taking a security team. Fill it with good luck or out the bad luck. I think I know the reason. Objects. Nice. Yeah. Well, personal mod slot. This is precise with a charge shot that pen like a sniper rifle. Unless he can construct different mods. Oh, okay, I get it. All right, let's actually fast travel back to Central Executive. We can turn in these um, these quests. Collect reward. Excellent. Grip maneuvers. What is that? Is that it? Oh shit! I didn't see that. Oh. Halo Texas. Uh, sure. What's this? Uh, his snipers. Here's kill his snipers. Oh, don't want that. Uh, mold host. Kill mold holes in the research set. I want to figure out how to kill him. Yeah. By getting hit, kill enemies in the executive sector. We'll do the trial attack. Kill enemies with that die. Oh, 30 to 50. Um, oh, outfits. Uh, civilian outfit is all I have. All right. I was just at this is parapsychology, right?
I wish I didn't have to work tonight or tomorrow. I would actually just play all the way through. Um, but I need. Do we save automatically? Yep. All right, guys. Um, we are going to call it here. But uh, like I said, stay here, relax a little bit. Um, let's see who is doing what. Um. Hey, you have a great evening as well, Rosie. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. Who can I? You guys off to? Um, let's see if anybody else is doing, uh, control. Uh, the, the control. Oh my god, there's people with like 11,000 viewers, 2,500 viewers. I'm not that popular. <laughs> uh, let's give some like somebody low like myself. Um, hey, Vajir. Oh man, now I need to find a less interesting streamer to watch for the last two hours. Sorry, Vajir. I would love to stay up, but I, I honestly can't. Um, I had stuff going on at work anyway. Um, oh, there's so many people playing control. Um, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's let's raid one of my friends. Um, oh, Rosie, I'm sorry, Han. If we didn't stream at the same time, I would follow. I I'm, I follow you already, I believe. Um, Raid at HFT or gaming. Um, this person is not playing. Um, uh, he's playing Battletech. He's not playing um, Control. Um, but uh, he's a popular streamer, um, relatively. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy his content. Um, he's kind of lively and silly and lots of fun. Um, but uh, you have a great, you have a great evening, Rosie. And I hope to see you again soon. Um, anyway, guys, uh, tomorrow is a Wednesday, and that is I play whatever I want. And guess what? I'm going to be playing Control. Uh, I cannot wait. Um, so I hope to see you guys uh, join me again tomorrow. I won't play. Uh, I will only play this game on stream. So if you guys want to pick up exactly where we left off, um, join me tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern. Talk to you guys soon.